In this video I'm going to show you how to factory reset a Ubiquiti Nano Station Loco M2. I do have another video showing how to factory reset using the reset pin on the PoE injector, but in this video it will be how to factory reset it if you are either using a PoE switch uh, or some other method where you can't get to the PoE injector where you might need to factory reset it using the button on the device. So in my current setup I have it on the wrong IP address so the pings are timing out and the aim is to factory reset it and to get the pings back. So if you get your nano station and look on the underside opposite the LAN connection is a reset hole. However there's a lot of spare space where you can stick a paperclip all the way past the reset button and also if you put it down at an angle you'll also miss the reset button. The reset button is towards the edge of the case. Let's see if I can focus on that. Roughly there. So if you put the paperclip in down at this end of the hole that won't do anything. If you go, let's see if, yeah you can see the light through there you can get the paper clip all the way up into there, that's not going to do anything. So it's going to be quite difficult to tell that you're pressing it. And I'm also going to show you the lights when I do so. So I'm going to try and line that up and keep it in place and I'm not going to press it yet and get the lights into view. And I'm going to hold that down for about 10 seconds. Uh, there's no harm in holding it down for longer uh, so 10 to 12 seconds is probably fine. What we're looking for is for these signal lights to start flashing. And press. That's more like it. There's no physical feedback on that button. It's It's almost luck as to whether you press it and the way you'll know whether you've pressed it is those signal lights will flash so the aim now is hopefully we'll get a response on the ping because this thing will have gone back to factory reset um, factory settings and will be on the default IP address And there we go. Ping reply from this device on its default IP. Factory resetting it without the PoE injector is with that incredibly fiddly button on the underside. But just be aware that there's a lot of space around all of the place where you should be able to press. There's loads of space and it's quite tricky to actually make sure you get the correct part that you need to press. If this video has been helpful to you, it would be really helpful to me if you wouldn't mind subscribing. The subscriber numbers on YouTube really help. Thank you very much.